good to be back to work. Um, and after a tough week, obviously a tough loss to UNLV, but you know, in our football team, uh, you know, understands where we are today. Uh, and where we are today is in the midst of getting ready for Missouri. And I mean, moving, moving our minds forward, looking at, you know, where we are. Um, you know, we, we're looking at everything in our program uh, to try to make sure man, that we, we, we do the things that we need to do man, to make sure man, that our, our young men can function. Okay, you know, they can play, you know, make good football. That's what they want, that's what they need. Um, and that's, that's what we want. And so I mean, it, all, it all needs to match up. And I think, I mean, these young men have done a, a, a solid job of really you know, just trying to keep I mean, their minds focused on, you know, where we are. You know, in this day and age, you know, I mean, when you look, and I'm talking to Commodore Nation, I'm talking to, you know, I mean, Commodore fans, you know, when you coach 18 to 22 year old young men, um, they, they, they're in college, I mean, they're trying to figure, figure it out. You know, I mean, they may not have all the answers, but here's what I do know. I do know, I mean, that they represent you. Okay, I man, I mean, they need your support. Uh, you know, I mean, in this game, uh, man, they're not perfect. You know, I man, in what they do. Uh, I mean, I'm big enough to take responsibility for the things, you know, I mean, that we don't get done. But, you know, what I need you to do is support these young men. You know, I mean, they're you, they're Vanderbilt. Okay, I mean, they walk these halls, uh, and they step into these classrooms. Okay, I man, they represent the Star V just like, you know, you represented it in your time here. And I'm thankful, you know, I mean, for who you are and where you are because Commodore Nation is strong. I just need you to lean against adversity just like this group is being asked to lean against adversity and help us get to the other side. Now, uh, as I look at this week, Missouri is the opponent, okay? Coach Oldham's team is a good football team. They'll be well prepared for this game. Uh, we need to make sure that our preparation matches what we you know, we look to do on Saturday, which is you know, compete and give ourselves a chance for success. And uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, that's the work that we're putting in, and that's what we stand. Any questions? Derek, uh, no coach wants to see their team is quitting ever. You said fight the other day. You felt your team fought. Um, when you look back at the film, did you feel like effort was, was there? Yeah, I thought, I thought effort was there. I think, you know, what happens, again, at times, you know, I mean, you – you can see as the game went on, you know, man, there's some frustration, you know, been setting in. But, you know, I mean, like the team didn't quit. Uh, that, you know, like quitting is a harsh word when you talk about a sport, okay? I mean, quitting is laying down. I mean, I, 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 I've never seen this team quit. I've never seen this team lay down. So uh, that, that's, that's not a conversation I'm going to have with, you know, anybody when it comes to this football team. Now, when you talk about lack of execution, when you talk about not functioning, when you talk about not hitting on all cylinders, we can have that conversation. That's a conversation worth having. But you know, that's that's not who this team is, uh, and that's not who I am. They're they're going to represent me. I'm going to represent them. Um, and we fight for one another because we're one family, and that's exactly what we're going to be. How good is Missouri's defense? When you look at them, on really good. I mean, when you look at them on the back end, uh, and, and and I think the game always starts up front in this league. But I think they're pretty good on the back end. They've got four DBs, man, who can run, hunt, uh, but they can they. They capture the football. They know how to play top down. They cap it. They play fast to the ball. And, you know, what they do up front is, is what Missouri's always done. They're tenacious. Um, and they run hard. And they're physical at the point of contact. You know, I mean, their linebackers are, are, are solid players, men who work hard. Um, and they've had a big injury hit, you know, and to one of their best inside backers. But, you know, I mean, the one thing about Coach Odom, man, he's going to keep that, that, that group hunting. And really what they are offensively, uh, you know, led by Kelly Bryant is 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 pretty good. You know, when you look at what he's been able to do, I think he's been able to shed the the you know moniker of of, of just being you know a running quarterback. Um, and I've seen him throw the ball well from the pocket. Okay, uh, Coach Dooley's done a great job turning him into a pro passer. Uh, you know, everybody wants to believe that it's RPO, but when you look at their game, it's not. It's a lot of drop back pass off off of you know RPO action or draw action. So. I mean, it looks different than what people, you know, truly believe. Uh, you know, it looks more and more like Dak Prescott and some of the things that he does, uh, you know, in that offense. And, you know, he's got weapons around him. He's got a really good running back in Roundtree, who I think is one of the best in this conference in terms of what he does and how he competes and, you know, yards after contact. So um, they've got tight ends, big tight ends, men who are big targets. They can get you in 12 uh, personnel, 11 personnel, uh, 13 personnel at times and spread you around. So they're going to be physical with the run game. It's something that we struggle with, but uh, maybe we think we're getting closer to some answers. You know, it's about getting in the lab and working on those answers and, 
and that's what we're going to see on Saturday from Missouri. Derek, you talk about looking at everything in your program, trying to make sure that they can function at that. Have you concluded that you need to simplify things on either side of the ball? You Some of you put them in the best position so far? Yeah, I, I, I think we keep looking every week to try to simplify and try to see if you can put these guys in the best possible position. Uh, you know, man, more more is not better. You know, man, more is more right now. You know, man, less and being able to function the way we need to function is where you want to be. Man, but you're not going to be so simplistic. Whereas, you know, we're going to paint by numbers. We're, we're, we're not going to do that. We're going to give ourselves a chance with, you know, strong schematical schemes, man, that put guys in the proper position to make plays. And now, you know, from our effort, uh, uh, you know, man, our, our discipline, our focus, our our ability, you know, man, to use our skills, uh, you know, man, to play this game, that's what they got to do. You know, I mean, coaches coach, players play. And we're all responsible for something. There's got to be a standard. There's got to be an expectation. I know we haven't met it, but, you know, man, right now, man, uh, you know, our standards and expectations in the room are the only things that we can worry about, and that's, and that's the only thing we can, we can actually control. You said last night open competition at quarterback. That just includes Deuce and Riley, is that correct? To this point, that's exactly you know, what it includes. I look at it right now, you know, I mean, Deuce, Deuce and Riley, you know, my other guys, okay, I mean, until I, you know, I mean, see anything different. And right now, you know, I'm not in the bye week, so I'm not having a chance to evaluate everybody like in our program. I mean, I get a chance to look at guys during, you know, crossover periods, but Right now, I'm not. I'm. I'm more concerned with the top two and what they, what they're doing, and how we can get those guys better. As far as Deuce and Riley, what can you do with those guys to get more production out of them in the passing game, specifically uh, coming up this week and moving forward? Well, you know, I mean, you got to be able to quicken up your feet. You got to be able to, you know, man, uh, uh, make sure that your mechanics allow you, to, you know, uh, put the ball where it needs to be because accuracy is a, a, a huge part of what. What's going on right now? Very inaccurate. Okay, um, and, and I'm looking at both quarterbacks, and some of it has to do with footwork, some of it has to do with you know throwing mechanics, and and you know with that being said, uh, you got to continue to put pressure on on these guys in practice so that you know in game day, you know the 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 fluidity of the game and the ease of the game, you know it starts to show up. But great, you know part of that is is an individual pressing himself. Like here's the deal. I mean you you. It's hard for a coach to give you what you don't have. Okay, I man, you got to grab and get and function and work hard, you know, for what it takes to play in this conference. So, I mean, I, we can we can set you up for success, but you got to grab it, you got to take it, you got to you got to grind for it. And then, and then on top of that, it takes a mentality, man, that 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 never allows you to stop working. You like in this conference to be better. That's from a coach, that's from a player, that's from anybody that's involved, uh, you know, top to bottom in the organization. How do you keep a team together when it goes badly? Hey, man, you gotta keep it about family. You know, I mean, like I said, I mean, these, these young men are part of the Commodore family. Uh, you know, it, that's we're we're not mutually exclusive from the family. I mean, we're in the family. You know, I mean, we we walk the campus with a lot of students and a lot of student athletes here. And so, like with that, you know, what I'm trying to get these young men, you know, to do is, you know, I mean, continue to trust in the process, but more than that, trust in the people around them. You know, I mean, that's when it gets hard. You know, when the, you know, when people start to talk, and you know, when the voices get loud, and the attacks start to come, man, then you know, guys want to retreat. So what we have to do is make sure, man, that 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 they don't retreat so far that they become reclusive. You know, man, to what's around them, man. They immerse themselves in everything that is purely Vanderbilt. Okay, man, we stand up on that, and and, and just learn how to trust one another, believe in one another, and just continue to work. Because believe me, we got the answers. The answers are inside; they're not outside. So we just got to keep going. Do you have to? Uh get some of the senior leaders on your team to help sell that message to some of the guys? And if so, who would those be? Yeah, you know, you know, when you talk about leadership, you know, like in this group, I think, man, right now, we've got to be real careful, uh, man, about, about, about just trying to give it to a few. Okay, you know, really, I've got to be the leader. Okay, man, um, our senior leadership, you know, man, guys that have been in this program for a while, okay, man, they have to, you know, toe the line. Okay, man, and continue to make sure that they pour into the young guys, and the young guys have to be able to listen, because the noise is loud. So, you know, when I look at it, you know, it's a team, coach, uh, you know, administrative staff thing that starts at the top and permeates down. So, you know, when we want to talk about leadership, man, there can't be 15 captains. There can only be one captain. I'm the captain of the ship. I got to make sure, okay, that my colonels, my generals, my privates, my sergeants, and everybody else, okay, that is walking along with me. I mean, they know my shoulders are broad enough. I got their back. They got mine. So we're going to ride. Is it important, though, for you to have those guys? 
uh, help sell that message to the other guys, though, just to have guys on the team. So it's not just the coaches talking at them. It's, it's the players that are selling your message to one another, too. Yeah, but, you know, that, that, that's so through actions. You know, you, you, can, you can talk about it as much as you want to, but you got to walk it. And you know what? I mean, you get to a point where all that stuff falls on deaf ears. Okay? So, again, you, they know me. I walk it. Okay? I mean, they, they expect me to walk it. Okay, man, they definitely expect you know, man, me to be the model of it, stand on my own two feet, be able to you know, man, defend exactly what I believe is family and ours, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, you know, I mean, they'll take my lead. We'll walk with each other. We'll get through the storm. I'm the captain of the ship. Let's ride. Derek, when you look at the personnel that you have, the, uh, what's the potential, what's the level of play you think is realistic, reasonable to think in these last six games? I'm not asking for like a number of wins, but yeah. what does the level of play look like do you think this team can attain the last six games? I think what it has to be is relentless stuff and intelligence. It's got to look dogmatic. Okay, the strain has got to be there. When you talk about the toughness piece, you know, that that's that's about you know, playing through the adversity and getting through to, to the other side. It's, 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 it's being in third and 10 and getting third and 50, or getting 15 yards on third and 10. Okay, man, it's about making sure, man, that we can stay on the field. It's about getting stops. It's about tackling. It's about everything that's been tough for us right now. We got to make sure that we lean against it, man, and get ourselves to the other side. That's what I define as toughness. Okay, and when you talk about intelligence, just not beating yourself. Listen, okay, I mean, if you can make a mistake, don't make the same mistake twice. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, that's the intelligence that we got to play with right now. So it's about RTI. It's never moved from that. Sometimes guys forget about it because, again, you know, when you're battling noise, and when you're battling noise, man, sometimes you got to sit there, find 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 a place where you can be calm, listen to yourself, okay? Because when you listen to too many people, man, you can't get anything done. When you listen to yourself, you got the answers. So that's what I'm having those guys do right now, and that's where we got to go. When okay. you look at this roster, can this roster achieve what you just said? Absolutely. Absolutely, but it's got to be it's got to be one day at a time, okay, man. We got to take hours, okay, man. Hours, half days, days, weeks, okay, man. Put those together, you know. I mean, you can talk about six weeks, but six weeks really doesn't mean anything to me right now, okay, man. The only thing I got is today, okay, man. I'm trying to get guys to improve themselves today so we can improve our team today, okay, man. But if I can do that, then we're moving in the right direction. We see what happens on Saturdays, Derek. But obviously, as you know, it's it's, it's the daily preparation. Yeah. That we talk about. Has that been as subpar as, you know, like the last game for him? I mean, are you seeing that translate, you know, not seeing enough in preparation and practice field and seeing that translate on the field, or is it not matching up to what you're seeing? It's just not matching up. You know, man, I, I, I've got to say, taking it from the class to the grass. I mean, you, you know, practice is, is, is a classroom. I mean, those guys are working hard in the classroom. And on game day, man, it's just it, there, there's times, okay, where, I mean, you look at it. How can you every week come out as an offense and go down and score? First series, I mean, are, 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 are we doing something magical? No. Okay, I mean, it's practice. It's how hard those guys have worked. It's what they put into it. Okay, the stagnation, I mean, I don't have a quick answer for that. If I had it, okay, then we'd be on the other side of it by now. Okay, I mean, I don't have that answer. I'm searching for that answer, man, right now. But, but you know what? I'm not letting those guys off the hook. Like I said, man, I'll take anything anybody out there has got for me. Okay, I mean, you got the answers. I, I, I hear. I'm not worried about that right now. What I'm worried about is 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 our guys making sure that they trust the training. They stick with the process. Okay, man. When when something happens, move to the other side. Grab an oar and start rowing. Because that's the only way you're gonna get there. And that's what this team needs right now. Okay, we we gotta we gotta continue to invest in the answers that are inside the building. Because the schemes. Okay, I mean the good schemes. Okay, uh, schemes are good schemes. I think we got good players. I think we got good coaches. Now what we got to do is play good football. That's the answer. One more question here, guys. Will, will, will there be any changes on the coaching staff? Maybe uh, like took over a few years ago defensively. Let me tell you something. I I I'm, I truly believe in the coaches that are here. You know, you you don't you don't you don't start you know that uh, you don't get in the fog of war and start shooting at the guy that's sitting right next to you. <laughs> that that what 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 are we doing here? I mean, we 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 talk about being family. No, that's that's not what we do. Okay, what we do is, man, we tighten our bootstraps up. Okay, man, man, we make sure we tighten up the backpack. Okay, man, let's march another forty miles. Let's make sure, man, we can get through to the other side. Okay, this is about man, family. This is about trust. This is about having some integrity. This is about making the march. This is about the work. So let's make sure we do every bit of it. Coach, thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Hope y'all have a great day.
Appreciate you. So we've got two student athletes, guys. I've got uh, Justice Sheldon Mosley, and I've got Drew Birchbottle. Drew's on the corner. That's awesome. Don't say that looks for <laughs> <laughs>